This is the gospel for the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe, according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you? Or thirsty and give you drink? Or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those in his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or ill or in prison and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not for the one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And this will go off to eternal punishment by the righteous, but the righteous to eternal life. This is the gospel of the Lord. So we are at the end of the liturgical year. So it's natural that the gospel we hear today is the gospel of the judgment, the universal judgment. And what is the criteria for this judgment? It's not about, I went to the Mass, I prayed everything. It's very interesting. The criteria is love, the practice of the works of mercy. We, we, were we merciful to the other, so we are going to enter the kingdom of God. So we practice the prayers, the liturgy and everything, but the goal is not to stay in this step, but to go beyond and practice love. And it's very interesting as well that the Lord says that what we did to the poor, to the naked, to the hungry, to the naked, is about doing something for the very person of the Lord. So. The, the idea is to see Jesus Christ in the other. When we see Jesus Christ in the other, we can practice love in a very special form. So at the end of the year, the criteria of judgment is love, and we can practice love when we see Jesus Christ in the person of the other. God bless you.